All right, let me tell you something. Today on Hoopy Doodle, we travel down a mystical road that will lead us to the completion of our cargo bike frame. So by the end of this video, you'll get to see the main frame of the bike and get a vision for what it will ultimately look like. It's gonna be great! Alright, so we've got the welding done on this thing. It's fully welded now. And the welding went eh, okay, you know? It's nice in some parts and not so great in others. So my next step, and I'm just sort of feeling my way through this thing, is to do this up here. I want this thing to be a total of 18 inches wide. At nine inches right there is right in the middle. So it'll stick out right about like that. My next step is to cut these little pieces that are gonna go run out like this. And then I can do my notching that will go around this tube here. And then I can do my angle cut, my 45 degree cut over there. And I'll have another piece that runs up this. So I'm gonna overcut this piece here. All right, so now I've got those two pieces cut out there, one for each side. And these are longer than they're gonna be ultimately. My next step is to do my little notching, tube notching to it will fit on this tube here. This will be some, somewhat interesting and new for me at least because I need to notch it so that it sort of goes over this tube right here. This it'll go over there, but it won't go over this side. I'm gonna have to notch it like three, three different ways. So I made a few marks to sort of quarter this thing up. And now I'm gonna go ahead and try and take that line, take one of these lines and run it all the way down here. All right, so now I've got it marked here. Going around. Got a couple lines. We got one. I got, I got these two lines here run all the way down. And then these two here just run half a little bit way down so I can see them on this end. And now, to measure this guy. This is like an inch and a quarter. Three eighths, I believe. Something like that. All right, so I've got my little notch cut out here at this point, like a normal notch, so to speak. But now I'm gonna go ahead, I need to notch it again, like right here, in order for it to fit up against this tube. I've got it so it'll fit up against this, like that. But now I need to be able to slide it down and also fit it around that. So, I'm gonna make another little notch. That might work, that might work. All right, we've chopped some things and here we are. We've got these things made it up on either side. I've got them cut out on the ends here for 45 so they can come out this way. I'm hoping these are pretty straight. I don't really have any cool techniques to make sure I've got this straight. I just did it as best I could. And so hopefully those will fit up really perfectly. And I've also got some spacers, a bunch of spacers that I cut out down here so this can sit up here on those spacers so that when I go to weld this sucker in, it's spaced up, it's spaced up appropriately. All right, so my next step is to cut the pieces that are gonna come out like here and actually make like the cargo tray. And the reason that this, I went about this, I made it just slightly harder than other ones I'd seen people do where I'm not having a single sort of backbone-y sort of thing that go runs right straight down the center and then have the sort of tray, the cargo tray come off of that. I'm having this backbone, so to speak, come up and then split into two and then go out like that. So there'll be absolutely nothing in the center there. All the weight is gonna go be distributed, be uncarried on those two rails on the sides there. I want this tray to be 28 inches long. All right, so I'm trying something here. I've got this sort of straight edge here. This is like a 90 right there. So these guys can go right up against there. And I know that they're straight up and down like that, basically. I'm gonna put two of them, both of them together like that. And they're both the same dimension. And then I'm going to take this piece of flat stock here. I'm gonna scrape this on the top here to uh, sort of engrave a line on the very 
center line on the top. All right, that creates a line up here that I think I can see. <laughs> I think I can see it. Go ahead over here and darken this thing up with a marker. I've got it back in my little angle iron here. We're gonna see, I'm gonna trace out that line. All right, I think I've got everything sort of set up. All right, I'll probably go ahead and tack those in first and then we'll move these things and then tack in those guys. All right, so I've got my two side rails right here, and we want these things, we want this whole tray area here to be 28 inches wide on the bottom, or 20, 28 inches long on the bottom. Measuring from the inside here, going up, 28 will give me... All right, so now I'm trying to get this front steering, uh, the forks on here set up with the steering tube and everything, the angle. This guy, I've got to make a piece that comes from here and goes up to the steering tube. Some things I have to consider here is that I have this guy set, this wheel in front is smaller, so the axle has to be lower than the wheel in the back. So I have to account for that. Ultimately, I'll have a flat piece here for the floor, and then I'll have a flat piece going across the front as well. And I need to account for the wheel, the depth of the wheel coming back here. So the wheel, this is like an 18 inch wheel. So I need nine inches coming back. So what I'm doing right now is we're playing with that. We got space for that. All right, so trying to figure out the angles. They're gonna come from the steering tube here, out, and then down, and then hit up with this tube down here. It's a bit of a brain tease for me. The easiest way to do this, and I've seen other guys do this, is use, I've, I got some wire here, so this is from welding rod. And I bent up a little angle up here that I like just visually going from there and then I came out about as far as I want to go on this guy and then made my other angle and just doing this visually the way I like want it to look. All right, so now I've got my head tube here reinstalled and I am, I've got my, my little template here and I'm basically just going to, I, now I can measure out the distances I need to cut the pipe for. I need one, I need two, one for each side that are this length here and then I need another that goes from here down to here. I'm gonna overcut those so they're longer than what I actually need. This should be the simple cut to make, and also it's going to be just a butt weld. I'm gonna start up here, I'm gonna cut this one, the angle I need for this, and then do my tube notching to fit around this guy. And I want the angle of this tube where it meets up with the head tube to be like that. In order to do that, I basically am taking my little angle finder, I'm laying it out on here, so that, that looks like the right angle. And then I'm gonna transfer this to my chop saw. And then doing that, basically just adjusting my fence here, and then coming over, bringing this guy down until this lines up with the blade exactly the way I want it. So there is my angle, and now we'll try and fit this up to the steering tube, see how it looks. Looks good. Now we gotta tube notch it. All right, so I got my tube marked where I'm gonna notch it. Basically, this is my plan. So you can see it's cut, it's got the angle that way, so this is sort of the top of it up here, and I'm going to notch it into the top and into the bottom, so this thing will sit up against this guy like so.
Now I've got this guy clamped down so I can weld it. I'm gonna go ahead and tack this in and then we'll put it back on there and that will give me this piece to work with and I can better get a feel for where to cut it down on this end. I got these guys, I got these two guys done. Right here. Both of them done. Well, done and then I've got them fitted and tacked together. And now they can go on to the actual bicycle and be tacked onto the bicycle. And that, my friends, is big news. Cause this was like really challenging and, but I finally got here and I'm super stoked by it. All right, so this guy goes on this side. That is how the bike is gonna look. And the thing that made this so complex was that it just made my mind spin around, you know? There's an angle here, like these are kind of in line. Like these two, these two joints are in line, like that's sort of a straight thing. But then it goes down here, it twists and connects up with this guy. And this thing twists too and goes because of this angle, like that. That made it pretty hard, I gotta say. It made it pretty challenging. But we got here. Um, we didn't get here perfectly though. This is imperfect because this, this fit up down here, it's got some gaps in it. They're not huge gaps and I can totally make this work. And so that's, when we, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it work. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and attack this stuff in here. All right, so we've got it tacked in there, that one side, and let me show you something. So I just tacked it in in a couple different spots. Like this one's got like a spot there and another spot on the other side. This one we did earlier, and this was a main piece that we just tacked in, but there's only two tacks on that one. This section up here, I've got like three tacks on that, one here, one on the top, one on the other side. And now in order to put the other piece in here, this guy, I had originally notched this out on the top here, so it would fit around this tube, but now these guys, they're gonna, this one's gonna overlap that one slightly. So I'm gonna need to notch out this corner here. I need to notch that corner out right there, and then we'll tack this in. Oh yeah! All right, it's prepped. We're ready. I'm gonna weld it in, man. All right, so this is definitely not perfect. There's definitely gonna be some grinding involved in making this, in finishing this thing. But to get to this point, just the complexity of these bends and the geometry, oh, how I hate geometry, right? You know, like math, geometry, no fun. The fact that we've got it here, I'm, I'm really happy with this. And I'm gonna take this moment to celebrate. I wasn't sure, wasn't sure we was gonna get here. But yeah, look at it. Look at it. It's got angles and bends and multiple angles, compound things going on. Not bad, dude. I'm happy. Check it later to make sure it's straight, but for right now, I'm gonna be happy. All right, so thanks for watching this video. Next time, we're gonna work on the details of this bike and try and get all the little things fitted up. We've still got little extra braces and supports that we gotta put on this thing, and then we're gonna test drive it, put it together and like ride around. Then we'll take it apart again and we'll paint it and then put it back together again and then we'll have a bike, I think. So keep on following us here on Hoopty Doodle. Subscribe, man. Subscribe to the Hoopty Doodle and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Keep on wrenching and pedal, pedal, pedal along. Rah!